Hey guys, it's Lauren here, helping you on how to best use the Hootsuite free platform. Now this video is definitely for beginners, so if you're using Hootsuite already, this may not be the video you want to watch. Now as we move through this, please keep in mind that you can pause this video and come back to it as you go. So let's begin with the dashboard. At the top left corner, you see your streams, and those include the social media platforms that you want to follow. So we're going to add a stream. First, we'll go over here and click on the Add a tab, and then we're going to get started. Now, I've already connected Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at some point to my Hootsuite account. And if you haven't already, don't worry about it. It is incredibly intuitive. All it does is ask you for permission and your password to be able to post to those sites. It'll all lead you through it. It's very, very easy. But right now, we're going to connect Instagram. We're going to add it to my dashboard. I would like to add a stream though because I want to follow more information. So I'm going to add an Instagram stream. I've already got my post showing up, so I don't need to add that again. If I was following a hashtag, then that would be very important to add. If I use a very specific hashtag and I want to see if anybody else is using it as well, or if people are mentioning us in any way, then I would want to follow those hashtags. I also want to follow the scheduled posts that we push out because I want to make sure that if we have any scheduled posts that I can go to them right away and just check them over if I need to. So here are my posts and here are my scheduled posts. Now I can go here and I can rename this so it's easier to follow. Now let's post. First, you want to click on the new post button up in the upper right hand corner of the page and you'll have several choices when you post. You can choose to post now or you can choose to schedule them. We're going to actually choose a very simple post to start out with. We're going to post now and we're going to choose multiple um, social media sites to post on. So first we'll select the social networks. I want to start with Twitter and Facebook. And then we're going to enter text. Have a great day from Tessman. Now you can add emojis if you want to add emojis. Put a monkey, <laughs> whatever you want to do. And then you can post. If you want to, you can include a photo from your own library. All you do is click on the media and you can go and find a photo from your own library. Or you can open your media library, and these are free sourced photos that you can use. So let's say you have something and you want to search it out. Here's a flower search. And so these are free photos that you can use. And as you can see, you can actually use multiple photos if you want. And then all you have to do is click post now. Next, we're going to do a bit more difficult of a post. We're going to use, we're going to post something that has um, vendor tags in it, and we're also going to include a link. So when you're posting something that you want to either tag a customer or a vendor, you actually want to use one social network at a time. And the reason I say that is because most people will have a different you know, name on Facebook and on um, Twitter. And so therefore, you're not going to get the same um, customer to, to uh, tag in each one. So we're going to do Twitter first. The other thing to, to mention is that you want to go onto Twitter and follow your customers and your vendors, anybody that you're tagging first, because then you'll know how their name is written and it's a lot more easy for Twitter or for Hootsuite to actually autofill those in. And I'll show you what that means. Our early buy is still going on. Earn your rebates today from, and then these, this is where I'm going to take our vendors in. So you've got new farm and that will automatically populate. And you've got aqua trolls. 
So as you can see, it just automatically populates. I use these tags quite a bit because I like to include my vendors um, in our posts. It increases our reach because generally speaking, they will like it, they will share it, they will do something with it. Plus it kind of gives a little bit of love back and forth, um, kind of a little bit of respect on, on, that, uh, on that platform. So with this, we want to provide a link as well. Um, now this is my Bitly link and we're going to talk about Bitly a little bit later, not in this video, um, but this is my Bitly link. And as you can see, when I put in a link, it automatically populates with this uh, photo and website page. And if I don't want to include that, it's very easy. All I have to do is go down here. I can X out of that. It's not going to include it, but I do want to include some type of picture. I'm gonna to go to my open free sourced media library. I'm gonna search for money. Um, and the reason I would do that is just simply because psychologically speaking, you are, I'm creating a post about rebates. So I want to push out an image that connects with that um, post. So it's rebates, it's money, it's got cute little growing things in it. So it's perfect for a testament post. So we've done a link, we've done a photo, we've tagged in this post. Now let's schedule it for later. Let's say I wanna schedule this on a Friday afternoon because I know that that's when my clients are, are most around. So I can pre-schedule it on a Friday, let's say 3.15 p.m., done, schedule. Pretty easy. If you would like to learn more about how you can market your small business, please do not hesitate to contact me. Tessman believes in our customers and we want to help you grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for more tips and tricks. Thanks again for watching.